I'm Ernie Butcher. I'm at RV Central in Hicksfield in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm here with the RV-1, Richard Van Grunsman's very first prototype of the entire RV series of aircraft. Mr. Van Grunsman built this, converted it actually, while he was serving in the Air Force. He purchased a Stitch Playboy and wasn't at all pleased with his performance. And being an engineer, began to make uh, many modifications and it continued to morph. He was quite pleased after he had given it a little more horsepower, changed the wings, adjusted the tail, and as any pilot would do, he began to take it around to air shows across the country. It landed slower, it went faster, it did aerobatics, and it became quite a hit. Shortly thereafter, he was inundated with requests for plans, for parts, for something. Everyone needed an airplane like this one. Began to manufacture fiberglass parts and sell a few plans. He started Vans Aircraft Company. First aircraft out of there was the RV-3, which used essentially the same wing that's on the RV-1. Same design, same manufacturer. And it's said today that out of the entire line of Vans Aircraft that the RV-3 is the best all-round performing airplane of the entire fleet. It was by chance that Paul Dye actually found this airplane in a rundown hangar at Dunham Field in uh, Crosby, Texas. From that point, momentum began to build. And as we continued to talk about it and what to do, you know, we offered it to Van, but in the meantime, uh, had made arrangements with EAA Museum, offered it to them, and they were just beside themselves to receive this, this airplane into the museum. And later partnered with Friends of the RV-1, a 501c3 that was formed to carry the RV-1 from its restoration here at Hicks Field to a debut at Sun and Fun and a nationwide tour. This has really been a community effort. We have had well over 50 people, very talented builders, come in from as far as California to do their magic, to share their talents, their time, their commitment to the history of this airplane, airplane and to pay tribute to Richard Van Grunsman, which is what this is all about. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good chance.